In today's video, I'm going to show you how I deal with the disaster of accidentally deleting your best images. It's actually quite, uh, oh, hang on, sorry. Sorry about this. Oh, it's Grumpton. I thought he'd lost my number. Better answer this. Hey, old mate. How's it going? Hey, that Hasselblad of Amanda looks pretty sweet, eh? Oh, ah, yeah, but she won't let me anywhere near it. Oh, yeah, why's that? Uh, no reason. All right, well, I'd be interested to know what you really think of it, because to be honest with you, I'm getting a little bit tired of the Fujifilm GFX 100S that I have. Are you now? Ooh, well, what's it doing? Well, my front dial keeps breaking. This is the second time now. B but they'll fix it for free though, right? Well, yeah, but I'm out of action when they do, and you know how much I really love the action. I do, yes. <laughs> you do love the action, don't you? I do love the action. Well, if I can get my grubby mitts on it, I'll let you know how it performs. But I reckon if I take her on a road trip to the US, she might let me borrow it. Oh, you're heading west. All right. Well, maybe I could meet you halfway. Yeah, yeah, that would be brilliant. Yeah, I'll bring my lovely wife and you can bring Brian. I noticed you pretty much bought him a heated roof tent for your van. Never got anything like that for me. I couldn't have him sleeping in the in the van. His snoring is really bad. It's worse than Thomas Heaton's. <laughs> no way, it can't be that bad. Oh, it's that bad. And then there's this atrocious flatulence. It's just disgusting. <laughs> oh God, well, well that can't be as bad as Heaton's, surely. No, you're right. There's nothing that bad. Do you remember that time that he cleared an entire pub with just one fart? <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, that, that, that was you, Gavin. No, that was you. Anyway, I'll let you know what kind of uh, route we've got planned, and then I'll be in touch, and we'll see if we can get together. Yeah, that'd be great. All right, well, take care. Talk to you later. Bye. All right, see you. Asshole. Wanker. Actually, that's a good idea. If you guys could post some comments, and let me know of any fantastic landscape photography locations that are between Nova Scotia and we might make it as far west as maybe Colorado. So anything in between here and there that is really photo worthy, I'd love to know about it. Let me know in the comments. Right, let's get on with this episode. You're gonna like this. In today's landscape photography adventure, I'm going to take you to an absolutely spectacular waterfall. Now I did try and shoot this about three months ago, but it was completely covered in ice and snow. You couldn't even see it. So it was a wasted trip, but I knew when I saw it that it would be perfect for this kind of year, late spring, early summer, everything should be green. And I reckon if I was to shoot it with your Hasselblad camera, I, I could probably get a book worthy shot, no, probably, if that was alright with you. I don't know, you've been kind of naughty today. What are you talking about? I've been, no, I've been a good boy. I didn't get breakfast in bed or anything. The cats were in bed, it would have been a right mess. No, the cats would have liked that. You want breakfast in bed now? Every day if I could. What kind of breakfast? You know, the full works. Rice Krispies? No, everything like bacon, eggs, scrambled eggs, you know. Omelettes, waffles. Anyway, maybe I'll just use my camera today. We'll see. We'll see how it looks. You know, depends what kind of focal length is required. Uh, we'll see. Now, I must pre-warn you that uh, I've gibbled my leg. Uh, I fell out of the attic the other day and smashed my leg up. And uh, I'm concerned it actually might be there might be a little fracture on my on my fibula. So. But don't worry, I'm wearing boots, so I, I should be all right climbing down the, this cavern. Did you just make that word up? What, fibula? Yeah. No, that's, that's a fact. I only know this because I broke my leg once. Sounds like a made-up word. Fibula. I don't think I have one. You have two. I don't think so. Anyway, if, if you think I look a bit weird staggering down this hill, that's the reason why. Like a bow-legged aardvark, I shambled carefully down the slope and then crossed the creek with the agility of a sloth plagued by chronic hemorrhoids. Well, you know how I said it was a spectacular waterfall? 
Well, it is when you've got some water volume, and I, I'm, I'm shocked, to be honest. I thought there would be a lot more water than this. It hasn't been raining too hard, but still, I thought there'd be a bit more. But anyway, it's still quite glorious, and I'm still going to get a good shot if I'm a little bit clever and I go hunting for foregrounds. I mean, it kind of alters the compositions that I could have got if there'd been a lot more water volume, because with more water volume, I could have got further down river and used some of that white water as a foreground, but now I don't have that, so now I have to get much closer to the cascade, which is not necessarily a bad thing, and with the water volume being low, you see a lot more of this beautiful green moss. So that's a bonus, but it, it just doesn't quite have the power and action and drama that I was after. But you know me, I'll make it work. Okay, no sooner than I got the drone up in the air and got a few clips, the heavens opened up and now everything is drenched. I didn't, I didn't bring my rain jacket. Thought I did, but, but I didn't. Um, and the camera that I was just setting up for a nice first shot was getting drenched. So I put everything back in the bag, try and keep it dry. And uh, I don't know if we should just stick around and just wait for it to stop or I'll go back to the car and wait for it to stop. But. I feel like I'm ready to start shooting, but I don't know how long my camera's gonna last in this. And I don't think there's any chance of me borrowing Amanda's Hasselblad in these conditions. Are they waterproof? I don't know if they're waterproof. Should be for that kind of money. Right, one of the beautiful things about my wonderful wife is that she's always able to turn a negative into a positive and what she's done is she's found a spectacular use for this absolutely fantastic book i don't know if you've ever heard of it but it's called chasing all with gavin hardcastle there's a link in the description not only is it just a fantastic read with some amazing pictures but it's also a really good charcuterie board and as you can see here a rain shield when uh, when it's pouring down and you just don't want your camera to get drenched uh, just multiple uses and you're doing a really good job there though i appreciate that so i've managed to frame up quite a nice composition and now that we've found this i mean the hasselblad will be totally fine underneath this right no i don't think it's I, I think it would just, there you go that's good i think it, it you probably would love i don't think it would be happy today yeah um but well, it's, it's a really good way to test it <laughs> it's still getting wet Anyway, let me show you this shot that I've framed up. I think you're gonna like this. So there's the waterfall, obviously. What I wanted to do is put something else of interest in this shot. So I found this fairly gnarly tree. It's got a really nice root system coming in from the left there, just to kind of frame what's going on in the scene. And I've got these foreground rocks here, which I also quite like, but I feel like there's a bit too much of them. So I might actually just crop that down a little bit just to simplify it. So it could end up being a 16 by nine by the time I finish with this shot. How long do you think this shot will take? I don't know, it's probably like a two second exposure. So two hours, <laughs> I don't know. Why? Well, my arms are already given up. I'll, I'll help you, there you go. I take the strain off you. Right, anyway, if this shot turns out to be half decent, probably not as good as the Hasselblad that I'm gonna do next, but you know, half decent, here's the shot. by me on a regular basis and see my latest image posts you can find me on Twitter so I'm quite happy with how that shot turned out but there's a few other little compositions that I got from earlier that I'm gonna try and find now on the back of oh no I've deleted them they're not showing up or, or something's probably gone wrong with the memory card love so I don't I don't know if I can trust this camera I've been abusing it quite a lot over the last four years so 
going to use mine? No, I think I'm going to have to because if you look back at some of my old videos, you can see how sketcherous this, this camera has been in extreme conditions, especially moisture. So, I mean, I, I for this shoot, love, I, I don't know if it's going to cut the mustard, and I think we should probably just crack out your camera. You think you've been good enough, though? I've been good, yeah. Do I get a little treat on the way home? What do you want? Me. Oh, you'll get a meat treat. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Did I? I want pepperoni. You'll get a pepperoni. <laughs> I didn't ask for kibasa. There you go. All right, so can we try your camera now? I wonder what's gone wrong with my memory card. It's, it's done this to me before, randomly deleting images and having problems. This is the perfect opportunity to mention this video's sponsor, Recover It by Wondershare. If, like me, you've been a bit silly and accidentally deleted your video or image files, relax, for all is not lost. With Recover It, you can actually recover lost or deleted files simply by performing a quick scan. It can even repair corrupted files. You can try it for free right now and also participate in the giveaway to possibly win free prizes. You'll find links in the description below. Recover It is your data recovery lifesaver and an essential tool for clueless landscape photographers like me. Just don't tell Amanda until I've had a right good play with that camera. Does that mean I have to stay like this though? Yeah, just only like two or three more hours and then we'll be done. Finally, I get my grubby mitts on Amanda's glorious looking Hasselblad medium format. Well, I just reshot that image and I've got to say, from what I can see on the back of the camera, the image quality on this is absolutely obscene. So this is my very first shot with the Hasselblad X2D medium format camera. And you're looking at just one frame, no focus stack, no brackets. Not a bad first shot, but I knew I could do better. I'd be curious to see how this compares to the Fujifilm GFX 100S medium format camera as this is, because I think, I might be wrong, but I think they share the exact same sensor. So what would make this different other than the interface? So if you want to see me do a comparison video for that, post a comment below and let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. And if it is, what specifically would you like to see compared between those two as far as i can tell brilliant cameras now that it's stopped raining i feel like i can move around a bit more freely so i'm going to get a little bit closer to this this tree here you see this thing because i really like this root system so i'm going to try and get closer to that and maybe do a focus stack and see how challenging that is with this ridiculously expensive camera take me long to find a composition that could test the limits of what this medium format camera could do. It stopped raining and I have found an absolutely glorious composition. Let me show you the back of the camera here. What I've done is I've framed the cascade with this beautiful tree and this tree here. Now if this this camera is focusing on that you'll probably see that this is blurred here. But of course, I'm going to have to focus stack it. So I've taken about six frames, one focusing on the distant background with that cascade, and then gradually getting closer and closer until I focus on just this little bit of moss here. So hopefully I can stitch all that together, but as a composition, that is exactly what I was hoping for. So if this shot turns out to be any good, here's the shot.
make it? It's all right, you know, it's a bit bit weird, it's a bit quirky. It takes a bit of getting used to it. I'm not fully used to it yet, but, you know, could get used to it. I see lots of breakfast in bed in my future. Yeah, I don't like it that much. I think you do. <laughs> I do, actually, yeah. Now, I don't know if this camera is any good uh, in the rain, if it's weatherproof. Have you checked into all that? It doesn't matter. I don't shoot in the rain. That's a good point, actually. <laughs> she doesn't. I'm definitely going to have to come back to this exact spot when that river is raging. Well, I am ecstatically happy with how those shots turned out on both cameras. Just an absolutely beautiful place. We've got to come back here again when the water's flowing a bit heavier, eh? Yeah. But you know what I just noticed? There's actually a space in my camera bag, so I, I could carry your camera for you and save you the hassle, Vlad. <laughs> well, it is getting kind of heavy, so yeah. I could carry some more stuffies with me, unicorn. Well, yeah, or you can carry my drone. <laughs> no! Yeah, it's even heavier. Oh, 